Hello, I'm Yogi Stillness, and thank you for joining us. I'll be your guide in today's meditation. Today we'll be learning to find a bit of fun in our practice, to enjoy the moment instead of living for tomorrow. We'll begin by sitting on the floor, on a cushion, or in a chair. When you're ready, allow your eyes to close. Notice the back of your eyes the insides of your mouth, and then turn your attention to your breathing. Observe your breath coming in through your nostrils, flowing down your throat, into your lungs, and then back out. With that awareness, let's take three deep breaths together. Now begin with a big inhale and hold it, and a long exhale. A deeper breath in, and pause, holding it, and then a full exhale. One last full inhale, and hold, and a complete exhale, releasing everything. Without changing your breath, become aware of its movement in your body. Practice letting go of your control so that your breath has room to move on its own. Whenever you feel the urge to control or change your breath. Notice that instinct and let the desire fade. If it returns, repeat the practice of acknowledging and releasing your control. Watch the dips and speed of your breath. Notice if you yawn or sigh. Notice how long the pauses are between your exhale and your inhale. Notice if the pauses are at all uncomfortable or if they feel good. Trust your body to always breathe enough without your conscious control, just as it does when you're asleep. Continue observing the breath for a few moments in silence. If your mind is disconnected from watching the breath, come back to observing the inhale and exhale. Let the inhale and the exhale find their natural balance once again. Begin to follow your thoughts more closely. Without attempting to control or encourage your thoughts, allow your mind to wander freely. Allow yourself to drift deeply into a memory or follow your imagination. Notice whenever you feel the instinct to redirect the thought. Let your mind wander freely, like a kid at play, bouncing from one activity to the next, 
and stopping for anything shiny enough. Sometimes, when your mind is free to wander, it does not want to go anywhere at all. Sometimes, when you offer your mind the freedom to wander, you can be greeted with pleasant stillness. Just enjoy it as it is, without interference, for a couple of minutes in silence. back from watching the flow of thoughts and return your focus to the balance of the inhale and exhale again. Often in meditation practice, the emphasis is on learning how to control our thoughts. When we feel like we have to be in charge of how we feel and what we think at all times, wandering thoughts can start to feel unpleasant or unwelcome. It is true that mindfulness helps us to become more skillful in noticing when our minds have wandered and bringing our focus back, but that doesn't mean we need to attach negative feelings to daydreaming or reminiscing. Our imagination can be quite an enjoyable place to spend some time now and then. We may notice the instinct to control our thoughts coming up more than necessary, making it more difficult to freely have fun and be creative. But the power to control our thoughts needs to be used selectively. Just like any other aspect of our practice, this too must be applied mindfully. Our minds are the home of our five senses, and it is important to remember to use our minds to take in our senses so that we can enjoy the world around us. But those pleasures can, at times, be a distraction. When we indulge in them all the time, consistently seeking pleasure or following desires is called hedonism. When we deny it instead, maybe refraining from accepting any pleasures, it is called stoicism. A balance between the two is necessary in order to accomplish anything, but still be able to have fun. We can be mindful about thoughts, but we can also notice how mindful we are being. Some of the most revered holy people throughout history have also been famous for their sense of humor. In meditation practice, some reach a stage known as Ananda Sampurnanta, which practitioners involuntarily laugh and giggle when they are deep in their practice. The idea is that when in deep states of meditation, there is not only stoic stillness, but joy and even laughter. When we peel away the layers of tension and worry, we often find that we are playful at our core, just like puppies, if left to their own devices, naturally fall into a state of play. When we drop our habits and patterns of stress and anxiety, we may find that not only do we find peace, but fun. The practice of letting the mind wander with childlike whimsy can also be a nice break on those days when our typical practice feels like an uphill battle.
Some days the mind may need a little recess, but even working with that playful energy can be a part of our practice. Come back into your body now. Wiggle your little fingers, then your ring fingers, middle fingers, index fingers, and your thumb. Wiggle your nose and take a deep breath in and hold it and let it out. Then allow your eyes to open. I thank you for showing up for yourself in this practice today. We are so grateful for the opportunity to support you in self-care and look forward to meeting here again tomorrow.